Welcome to the Art Explained YouTube channel. Today's video introduces you to Antonio Donghi, an Italian artist celebrated for his vibrant depictions of everyday life, captivating landscapes, and intricate still lifes. We encourage you to watch this video through to the end to discover fascinating insights about this remarkable artist and his impact on the art scene. Antonio Donghi was born on March 16, 1897. He is renowned for his unique connection with magic realism, creating art that harmoniously balances color and composition, integrating figures seamlessly with their environments. Donghi's early life was spent in Rome, where he studied at the Instituto di Belle Arti from 1908 to 1916. Following his military service in World War I, he furthered his art education in Florence and Venice, quickly rising to prominence as a key figure in Italy's neoclassical movement during the 1920s. Donghi's work is known for its meticulous technique, clear spatial arrangements, and engagement with common folk themes. His style, reminiscent of Piero della Francesca, exudes solemnity and classical rigor, often drawing comparisons to Henri Rousseau and Georges Seurat for its subtle humor and contemporary life scenes. His still lifes, typically featuring a modest vase of flowers, reflect the charming simplicity of naive art. Throughout the late 1920s, Donghi's work was frequently showcased, notably at Galleria Pissarro alongside Casarati, De Chirico, and Guidi, and his presence at the second exhibition of Italian Novecento art garnered critical acclaim from Roberto Longhi. His paintings are distinguished by a static beauty conveyed through enchanted and melancholic expressions, as seen in pieces like La Cocotina and La Partenza degli Amanti from the Foundation's collection. Occasionally, his works, such as Le Villegianti from the Carraro Foundation, feature softer, pastel hues. Dongi enjoyed both popular and critical acclaim, and in 1925, Franz Rowe recognized him as a leading artist in the magic realism movement. In 1927, he won the first prize at an international exhibit at the Carnegie Institute in Pittsburgh. By the 1940s, despite his move away from the modernist mainstream and a waning reputation, he continued to exhibit frequently and later focused on landscape paintings that emphasized linear designs. He passed away in Rome in 1963, leaving behind a legacy predominantly housed in Italian museums, especially the Museo di Roma. Thank you for tuning into our video. Your support is greatly appreciated. We look forward to seeing you in our next presentation.